हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चॅनल आज आपण आपला जो ट्वेंटी थर्ड चॅप्टर आहे वी एस आ इन्फेक्शियस डिजिजेस अँड हाऊ टू प्रिव्हेंट दॅम त्याचे क्वेश्चन आन्सर्स आजच्या व्हिडिओमध्ये आपण कवर करणार आहोत तर बघा सुरुवातीला तुम्हाला तुमच्या टेक्स्टबुकमध्ये जे क्वेश्चन्स आहेत कॅन यू टेल सो ते पाहूया वेन युअर फ्रेंड्स पॉल व्हायल प्लेईंग अँड गेट हर्ट डज एनी वन टेल यू डोंट गो नियर दॅम यू विल ऑल्सो गेट हर्ट नो नो बडी से राईट इनफॅक्ट इफ एनी वन इज हर्ट वायल प्लेईंग वी हेल्प दॅम राईट सेकंड सपोज युअर मदर हॅज अ हेडेक अँड डू यू ऑल्सो गेट अ हेडेक इफ यू गो नियर हर सो नो इनफॅक्ट वी हेल्प अवर मदर अँड ट्राय टू सूथ हर हेडेक थर्ड वेन इज इट दॅट यू आर टोल्ड नॉट टू गो नियर अ सिक पर्सन नॉट टू यूज दॅर युटेन्सिल फॉर इटिंग ऑर ड्रिंकिंग नॉट टू यूज दॅर हँकीज टॉवेल्स ऑर क्लोथ्स सो वेन दे वेन देर आर चान्सेस ऑफ कॅचिंग द डिजिजेस ऑफ अ सिक पर्सन अदर्स टेल अस नॉट टू यूज दॅर युटेन्सिल फॉर इटिंग ऑर ड्रिंकिंग अँड नॉट टू यूज दॅर हँकीज टॉवेल्स ऑर क्लोथ्स ओके नेक्स्ट fill in the blanks first question diseases are caused by dash so microorganisms the germs of influenza are present in the dash or saliva of the patient so it's spit maintaining cleanliness everywhere is beneficial for our health then malaria is spread through the bite of mosquito right clothes and utensils of a patient are washed with germicides bleaching powder is added to community sources of water to kill the germs then insecticides are spread on stagnant water to prevent mosquito breeding our body develops resistance to a particular disease due to vaccination okay next question soon after a baby is born she is given the tuberculosis vaccine okay mass media is used for raising public awareness about health and hygiene issues then second question true or false first one intestinal diseases spread through air so it's false some diseases are caused by the anger of the gods false some microorganisms are useful is true you should not cover your mouth while sneezing or coughing it makes handkerchiefs dirty false also keep the food items covered true fleas and fleas do not spread diseases it's false the spittal of a person who has tuberculosis is collected in a vessel is true during epidemics many people from the particular area get infected at the same time so it's true question number 3 classify the diseases in three categories that is through air through food or through water so see through air tuberculosis and diphtheria through food thyroid cholera jaundice gastro diarrhea through water is a uh, typhoid then uh, cholera jaundice and diarrhea okay malaria spreads through mosquito bite fourth question answer the following what is an infectious disease so the disease caused by a specific microorganism is an infectious disease and it is transmitted from one person to another through infection second what are the mediums of the spread of disease contaminated air water food uh, are mediums of the spread of disease this flea and mosquito also spread certain disease in case of skin disease direct contact through touch and contact with uh, contaminated clothes or utensil can also cause disease what happens when there is an epidemic of a disease so when the epidemic of disease is spread many people from a particular area become ill with the same disease at the same time next what is vaccination 
सो वैक्सीनेशन इज द प्रोसेस इन विच द वैक्सीन इज गिवन टू अ पर्सन और चाइल्ड थ्रू इंजेक्शन और एज एन ओरल डोज दिस वैक्सीन बिल्ड रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट अ सर्टन डिजीज वेन द डिजीज कॉज इन जर्म एंटर अवर बॉडी वी ऑलरेडी हैव द एबिलिटी टू फाइट अगेंस्ट दिस जर्म्स सो वी डू नॉट गेट दैट डिजीज ड्यू टू वैक्सीनेशन द आउटब्रेक ऑफ एन एपिडेमिक कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड एंड डिजीज प्रिवेंशन कैन बी डन चिल्ड्रन आर गिवन children are given vaccination for many diseases as their resistance power is weak then community programs for vaccination are also done to control epidemics fifth question make a list of vaccination that given to a newborn baby so bcg or uh, anti tuberculosis vaccine triple vaccine that is given against uh, whooping cough diphtheria and tetanus uh, polio oral vaccine is given to build resistance against polio theek okay. hai next six one which preventive measures are done against epidemic of malaria so malaria is spread through mosquito bites hence to prevent epidemic of malaria mosquitoes are eradicated for we ensure that there is no strengthened water if it is there then this water is sprayed with insecticides okay next seven question how does the epidemic of jaundice spread so epidemic of jaundice spread through contaminated water and food the microorganisms causing jaundice are present in the fecal matter of the patient such uh, if such feces gets mixed with river or lake water the water get contaminated if such water is used by other people or for drinking the germs cause infection to all of them if this way uh, in this way if the water source gets contaminated many people get jaundice at the at a time and thus the epidemic of jaundice is spread eighth question what care is taken in case of tuberculosis patient so patient suffering from tuberculosis is kept in the separate a separate ward in the hospital this is called quarantine clothes and utensil used by this patient are disinfected spittle of a person is collected in a vessel and covered with uh, phenyl which is germicides then patients are given suitable and proper medicines and injections ninth question what is the benefit of covering food so when food is kept covered it remains safe dust and dirt uh, does not uh, contaminate it the house flies do not contaminate the fluff, the food by sitting on it the germs of different diseases are not mixed with the food by covering the food we can prevent spreading of diseases the next give reasons when there is an epidemic of cholera we should drink boil water so germs of cholera spread through feces of a of a patient they pass into water or food if such contaminated water is used for drinking others may get the infection of cholera and therefore during epidemic of cholera water should be boiled and boiling destroyed the germs in the water and therefore we are protected against the germs in order to keep our health safe we should drink boiled water next question we should not allow puddle of water to stand in our surroundings so stagnant water of uh, puddles is a breeding ground for mosquitoes germs causing malaria are transmitted through mosquitoes bite from a patient to other people epidemic of such diseases will spread if mosquitoes are abundant therefore to control infection infection of malaria and uh, dengue we should eradicate mosquitoes hence we should not allow puddles of water to stand in our surroundings vaccination is done at the time of pilgrimage so during pilgrimage a large number of people come together some of them uh, may be infected or are carriers of certain diseases many a times there is uncovered and unhygienic food at uh, such events then people take holy bath together in contaminated water 
All these facts can produce spread of germs in order to control spread of diseases and to protect pilgrimage, uh, pilgrims and local people. Vaccination is given to all during such pilgrimage. Then fourth question to spit in a public place is forbidden by law. So by spitting the surroundings become dirty. Many germs of diseases also spread through spittle. To prevent spread of such disease and to protect the health of people, spitting in a public place is forbidden by law. For fifth, mouth and nose is to be covered while coughing and sneezing. So when we cough or sneeze, millions of germs may find their way into the air. Different diseases can be spread through such acts and by covering the mouth and nose while coughing or sneezing, we protect the health of ours as well as that of others. Then small babies are given vaccination. So by vaccination, the resistance against different diseases can be built up. Babies are protected against hazards uh, and uh, lethal diseases. Even if the germs of the disease enter the body, baby can defend itself. Therefore, small babies are given vaccination. Then use your brain power. The question is, which method of preventing the breeding of mosquitoes will you recommend for your surroundings? Not allowing water to uh, stagnate or uh, spraying insecticides on the water. Why? So in the stagnant water, mosquitoes breed. Mosquitoes spread diseases like malaria, dengue and elephantiasis. Therefore, stagnant water should not be allowed to remain in our surroundings. One can also use insecticide to destroy mosquitoes, but this would also create insecticide pollution. Insecticides have the ability to stay in the environment for an extended period and uh, they harm the environment. And therefore, there, uh, it is better to remove stagnant water than to spray insecticide. Okay. Uh, next, open-ended question. Maga. Can you tell any what's the solution? What steps will you take to ensure that dust and flies do not settle on the food in our house? So cover the food properly so the dust and flies do not settle on the food and contaminate it. The next, you are very hungry but the food has been left uncovered. Right? If the food is left covered, uh, left uncovered, then it will be contaminated with dirt, dust and flies. Many microorganisms are uh, present on, in them. Then such food can cause infections. Uh, therefore, such food should not be eaten. If we are hungry, we, eat, uh, we can eat packed biscuit or uh, fruits like banana which can be peeled uh, peel and eaten. If uh, food is boiling hot, we can consume otherwise. Uh, even if we are very hungry, we should not eat uncovered food. Okay. So friends, our question answer it has complete salary ahead. Video would like video la like kara, just to just look on the share kara. Channel one navina salt channel subscribe kara bell icon work click kara. Video next video mate to take care and have a good day.